Hello everybody, welcome, welcome in. This is another episode of Dark Avenger Live. I'm your host, Chris, the Dark Avenger, streaming live on Chaotic Falcon 86 on Twitch right now. We're working on getting maybe some live streaming back on uh, YouTube, but for right now, this is streamed live on Twitch, and then it's going to move over to YouTube, which there are a few things we're going to talk about because today is the spring update i know i'm a little late spring came last month on the 21st and we're in may now and this is my birth month but anyway we got some stuff to talk about and i actually did a written article that i kind of want to do a live stream to talk about also so we're going to be talking a bit about twitch we're going to be talking a bit about youtube and actually some really cool uh teasers for some videos that are going to be coming up on the entertainment channel for those of you that haven't subscribed you might want to go over to dark avenger entertainment and subscribe but first off i hope all of you are having a wonderful spring let me bring this up just a little bit more that's good never perfect camera is never perfect uh when i start the show at least but anyway spring where do we want to start do we want to start with youtube or do we want to start with twitch or do we want to start somewhere in the middle hmm we can start somewhere in the middle. So for those of you that don't know, I started up my blogger a little bit again because I want to have a place where I write that reaches out to people. And right now, blogger does kind of reach out to people on their website. Whereas with my website, if I wanted to post something on there, if I didn't share it, no one would even know I posted on there. So I'm trying to get some traction on the blogger that might somehow translate back into the dot com or if people on blogger really do enjoy the content on blogger. I might just do a copy paste over to my my website instead. We'll see what happens. But I did a new article on Blogger, and I guess this is kind of kind of going to YouTube first. And it's all about the comic books. Everybody, everybody's waiting for that review. And I'll tell you guys. I mean, I, as much as I know all of you, and I know I have that. I had that one commenter, and yes, there are certain comments that just they stick with you for a while. And there was that one person's comment that definitely stuck with me. I mean, were they wrong? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not here to judge whether they were right or wrong. They mentioned about me making another I'm back video for the hundredth time. <clears throat> Truth of the matter is, I never truly left. And I've said this before on multiple other videos. I just kind of needed a break. And I took a very long break. And the break just keeps seem. It seems like it's just stretching and getting longer and longer. It's frustrating for all of you, but it's even more frustrating for me. A person who literally spent years making videos on a weekly basis no longer doing videos on a weekly basis it definitely drives you crazy a little bit streaming kind of helped ease that crazy but at the same time it didn't because i still have the want to make videos and i am going to be doing that soon so what's going on where are the comic reviews you know you keep mentioning chris you're reading comics you know you're trying to catch up again you're trying to get back into the swing of things and uh i'm gonna be completely honest with all of you if you didn't read the article i'm just gonna summarize it by by just saying it I was trying my hardest for a good year to catch up. I missed a lot because I stopped reading the large amount of comic books I was reading before I took my hiatus. It was a good year to a year and a half before uh, I disappeared off YouTube for a time uh, on a bit of a hiatus um, that I stopped. So I had the year before I left. The year I did leave, <clears throat> and we were then into the second year of my hiatus. And the comics, they don't stop. They keep coming every month. And a lot happened between before I left and while I was gone. And a lot of crazy stuff happened too. Because while I was catching up with comics, I was trying to catch up with the news and seeing what was going on. And really quickly, I was starting to remember... You know, the, the time I was away from uh, comics and the times I, I stopped doing, like, <clears throat> heavy with the news, I realized a lot of the stress or, or the feelings of annoyance kind of lifted a bit. Uh, I wasn't as... Uh, I want to say the feeling, having the feeling of being burnt out, but it's sort of like that feeling, but without being burnt out. Just the feeling of, oh, here we go again. And as the news started pouring in from all different avenues about companies, about, you know, comic books, the sales going down, about everything else, I finally started to realize what was giving me that burnt out feeling. And that was all the 
bad stuff that was going on. You know, what comic book was trying to tokenize one character? What comic book was pushing what agenda here? What company was is slowly losing sales? The, the comic book industry in general s- literally sinking. And then COVID hit and the sales started to sink. And then Diamond, the drama with Diamond happened. And now we have new shipping companies. And just the sheer amount of all the dramas in comic books. And while I'm trying to catch up reading comic books, this isn't cool to... You know, see, all this bad stuff's going on while I'm trying to catch up. And then I read Amazing Spider-Man with the Mary Jane stuff going on, which is basically Marvel's big middle finger to all the fans when it comes to Spider-Man, you know, us wanting Peter and Mary Jane back together. And uh, it seems no matter what management is there, they're still holding tight to that. Peter Parker is never going to be married to Mary Jane again. So a little kudos to DC Comics for realizing the fans wanted Clark and Lois back together and giving it to us. It took a couple of years. <clears throat> it took more than a couple of years. It took about five years. But we got it back. But I finally decided to give up. Not on the review. I gave up on trying to catch up on every single book under the sun. And... I came to the realization of, of this around last month or maybe now two months ago. Uh, it was before spring, right before spring. I decided that this is not going to work. I'm not going to be able to come back to the review with <clears throat> the amount of books I was reading. Because number one, some of the books I don't even like reading right now. I'm not enjoying them. Uh, you got a lot of stuff going on in all the companies, whether it be events or events within the books or the books themselves not performing. Uh, X-Men, um, as well as they could be if you know they were under different management. So what am I going to do? I want to bring the review show back. I keep talking about bringing the review show back. So at this point, either I bring the show back or I just hang it up. You know, Dark Avengers over. Have a good night. Well, the media side of Dark Avengers over. Have a good night. You know, never, you know, attempt for a media, you know, to go back to media in comic book or anything again. And uh, I finally said, okay, so if I'm serious about wanting to get this started, what are we going to do? Because we can't keep doing this. We, we, you watching me, me doing these videos, we can't do this. We can't keep doing this. You know, I'm, I'm trying to catch up uh, thing uh, much longer uh, before it just becomes a point where it's been almost three years now. And it's like, it's now or never. I mean, come September, it'll be a full three years and I don't want that to happen. So what do we do here? I want to stay with this. I definitely want to bring back more media. I definitely want to get back into the swing of things while I'm moving apartments, while I'm fixing up an office, an actual office, not a former bedroom now turned into an office, a legitimate office, which I'm going to, we're fixing the ceiling. We're fixing a few things in the room and then the room is going to be cleaned up. It's going to be emptied. And then I'm going to do a process video from the moment the room is emptied all the way through until it's completely finished to a point where I could work in it. That's going to be on the entertainment channel. But I can't wait for the office to be done to start doing reviews again. So what are we going to do? What can I do since I don't want to get into all these books again? Where do, where do I start? Because I was, I was completely lost on the matter because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we don't know about and some some reporters are already well not reporters I don't even want to call them reporters some dedicated YouTube people who want to actually do the media work now instead of just following you know the trends or the Twitter likes or whatever ones that are actually willing to talk the truth and only the truth you know what media and press are supposed to do and for some reason the past couple of years haven't been doing uh, they're the ones that have been saying you know comic books are in, in trouble sales are low Things aren't going well, you know, this and that. And they're pointing out all the bad things that are going on. So I sat down and said, I'm not going to read all these books. What do I do about the review? Because I love comics and coffee and I definitely want to continue that. But that's like a one issue spotlight. Not exactly something for multiple comics in. Because once you get past two or three comics, it's a review. It's truly a review. So what do I want to do? I have been kept keeping up with Turtles, 
which has been kind of uh, spotty because there is an event going on with Turtles right now. I've been keeping up with Superman. And I was keeping up with a couple of books outside of that. that. But beside that, those were the two main books I made sure to get back on top of immediately. And Superman actually just started up again because they kind of restarted a lot with the DC Universe after the Dark Crisis. So I decided, okay, it's not going to work doing all these books. Why not go back to basics? Go back to what brought me into reading comic books in the first place. And when I started reading comic books back in 1998, I started with one book, and that was Superman, which then evolved into all the Superman titles, which then evolved into Justice League, and then it started adding the books. Ultimate Spider-Man, and then the review started, and then that's when I started Green Lantern, and X-Men, and all the other books started to roll in one by one. And it wasn't as overwhelming because I had just started with Superman. And then I added books as we went along. So I said to myself, okay, uh, that's how I started comic books back when I was younger. And when the review started, I only did about four or five books an episode. And clearly, I'm going to be, you know, with time right now, it might help if the reviews were only once a month unless we have multiple books so why not start the way i started collecting comic books with just superman so i sat down i said that is an idea i can start it like that and then slowly gradually add more books because i know people have been recommending daredevil i know people have been recommending other books many other books and they all look great Saga has started up again in the past almost four or five, almost a half a year. And Saga is going really well. I have been trying to keep up with Saga. I am two issues now behind. But that's what I think I'm going to do. Start the Dark Avenger comic book review off with Superman and Turtles. The Armageddon event, I believe, is either over. I'm, I'm, one, I'm a month and a half behind. Because there, uh, there are side books. I did read the book books. Uh, I do believe that we are at the end of it now. I believe the issue I got from last month, because my D my DCBS orders always come um, at the beginning of the month, so that's the previous month's books. Uh, I will check. I'm going to double check. But once we get away from the event with the Turtles, I will be adding Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Superman. And then we will go from there. Whether it's a story arc that's jump on, friendly or a new issue number one coming out we'll start adding to superman that way and i don't know if it's going to be monthly or weekly i would like to do it weekly i mean there are more than one there's more than one superman book that comes out a week sometimes there is only one which would then translate into a comics and coffee episode more than a review so that's what i'm thinking of doing the review will be strictly superman at the beginning and we're not starting with episode one. We are starting from 500. And I know I did start a 500. I looked back at my reviews and there's a small folder with episode 500 to 504 or 5, whatever. I'm going to rename those episodes so that this way they're their own little like side episode reviews. And we're going to start at 500 again. And we're going to go from 500 and we'll see how far we get. I definitely want to keep going. One thing I realize, and this is another reason why I definitely want to be bring the review show back, and hopefully in bringing the review show back, it'll help, you know, add more books to my reading pile again, and then maybe getting us back to the the huge majority of books I used to read. I definitely want to go back to Zenoscope. I've seen a lot of really cool stuff, and I, and I found out that Pat Chan's been back for a hot minute, and I did not know. Pat Chan is one of my favorite writers that left Zenoscope a while ago and now is back. So I definitely want to catch up with all of his work. And he's been doing a lot of work in there, from what I heard. So we're going to start like that. We're going to start, I would like to say, as soon as possible. I have a stack. It's going to be <coughs> two to three months worth of Superman books. Because we're going to go from when Superman restarted. We already did a Comics and Coffee for Action Comics uh, after the relaunch when it comes to DC Comics. So we're going to leave that one for comics and coffee only. And we're going to go from there. So part two of the first relaunch story arc an action comics. Superman number one, two. And I don't know if three came out yet. 
the miniseries with John Kent that's been going on. There's a new miniseries with Connor, Superboy. There's Batman, Superman. And I want to, I'm trying to remember, I have this, oh, Superman Lost, which is a maxi series that started last month. So it's two issues of Superman Lost. And anything else in between that involves Superman, all of that will be in the first review. And I would like to say that the first review will be soon. I don't want to give a date because I know if I give a date, I'm going to mess up. And then if I'm late, it's going to upset me more. And then I'm going to be upset. And then the upset's going to push me even further back. So <clears throat> we're going to hope soon. Honestly, I believe it's going to be soon. But anyway. That's for the reviews. As far as comics and coffee goes, speaking of coffee, I will be starting that show up again. Now, when it comes to the comic reviews, obviously, uh, I'm not going to be going as in-depth with my reviews. It's more along the lines of me talking about what happens in the book, a broad kind of like outline of what happens in the book, sharing my thoughts, whether I liked it or not, and whether I recommend it or not, and then move on to the next book. Comics and Coffee is an in-depth review. And that is going to be what I'm going to be doing on Comics and Coffee. So let's say I review Superman number five on the Dark Avenger comic book review show. I gave my thoughts. I gave a brief review and a brief overview of what happened in the book. Comics and Coffee, however, I will go more in depth. I will talk about in depth everything that happened from the start to the finish of the issue. And not... And, and we'll pick it apart piece by piece, you know, not pick it apart as in like rip it apart. Like we will go piece by piece in the book and I will explain my thoughts on the book page by page or not page by page. God, this is harder to explain than I thought. It'll be more descriptive. Comics and Coffee will be more descriptive. It'll be more in depth when it comes to the review of one book as opposed to a comic review, which will have multiple books and to keep the review from being hours long. The reviews will not be as in-depth. Uh, the Comics and Coffee episodes will be books that I want to talk about more in-depth. And those are... I would like to set that up to be once a week as well. So this way I do a full review episode. And then I have my little mini descriptive episode. Could there be more? Yes. Might there be weeks where Comics and Coffee get skipped? Possibly. The comic review is something I want to try to do exactly like I did the last time with the first 500 episodes and keep that out in every single week uh, format. So, that's the media. Now, also, let's, let's go into something else really quick. I realized something. I've been talking to my friends and fellow gamers about reviews I've done on games uh, in the past. And I have recently started talking about was it Fallout? Fallout 76. I said, yeah, I did a review on it. And my friend was like, oh, really? It would be really cool if I could see it. So I uh, I went on YouTube to, to help him get the link faster, you know, because I figured I knew what it was. So I typed in my name. You know, usually if I type in Dark Avenger C86 and the name of the game and review, I find it like that because I put those keywords in my video. So this way I know if I type those in, I'll find the video fast. Couldn't find it. Could not find it anywhere because I didn't post it on here. So I said, okay, maybe I posted it on my gaming channel. So I checked out the gaming channel. I tried every tag under the sun until I realized the reviews I did for 90% of the games were on Frontline Gaming Zone, which was posted on Comic Frontline, which is no longer called Comic Frontline. It's called Comic Book Weekly. And for those of you that didn't notice, all of the videos, other than Comic Book Weekly's podcast, have been archived. So every single review video I've done is private. So those videos no longer are searchable. So I went in and got my videos back. Two of them. My Fortnite review and my front, uh, my um, Fallout 76 review. Now, where I do want, I am going to be posting the, the uh, Fortnite review again because I feel like that's imp that was one of my most important reviews because that was before Battle Royale. And I'm kind of sad and upset that we archived that video. But again, it was a unanimous vote to archive all of the videos <clears throat> except for the podcast because Comic Book Weekly wants to be known only as its podcast show now. <clears throat> and we don't, we, nobody wanted the videos from the past to be still visible. Why? I don't know. But it was a consensus vote. So we did. I didn't realize that some of the videos on there were 
ones that I thought I posted on a different site. So I took them and now I will post them on here because this is going to be a review channel and a media channel. So I will be posting my Fortnite review with a, <clears throat> I might put a little, like a little video in front of it. Like I'll record like a present day, like just a heads up everybody. This was recorded back when Fortnite first came out, not now. <clears throat> Cause that was literally a week or two after the game was released. So that was old and that was way before Battle Royale. <clears throat> so uh, I'm probably going to find the year that the game was released and I'm going to title it like Fortnite uh, or I'll put the year in it like 2000 whatever Fortnite review um, and then in the description I'll explain that it was a, a video review I did for um, from whatever year it was and I'm re-uploading it so this way it could be public again or something like that. Because I don't want that video archived. That video definitely I would like out there. And it's one of my videos. So <clears throat> I'll have that out there. And then as far as the Fallout 76 one, however, that one, that one, I might, <clears throat> I might just let it go. I'm not sure yet. I did download that video, but there was a lot of drama surrounding uh, uh, Fallout 76 at the time. And I verbalized a lot of what that drama was at the beginning of the video. Some of it was fixed. A lot of it was kind of like over time, you know, people forgot about it or the company kind of found a way to smooth everything out. So while I did love the clips in there, <clears throat> especially when the one where I got killed by the door, that specific review I might just end up keeping as a video on my <clears throat> computer to look at you know years from now and laugh at or I might cut off the entire beginning where I talk about the drama and just go into when I share my experience with the review so it won't be the full review I recorded but it'll be a nice piece of it so there is that option that I probably will end up going with because I want my fallout and my Fortnite reviews at least out there were there other videos on Comic Frontline that I'm probably forgetting I did and, and posted on Frontline instead of where I, sh where I should have posted it was here? Uh, maybe as I remember it, if I remember them, I'll go into my archive. I have my archive on my computer and I'll fish those out just like I fished out the other, those two videos. Um, as you all know, for, for a very long time, I took a pause on Dark Avenger C86 and dedicated a lot of my review and everything time <clears throat> to Comic Frontline. So a lot of those videos that were archived were the only videos I did during that time period. So I kind of feel bad that people won't get to experience those videos. But at the same time, again, this was a vote on Frontline. Uh, it was a it was a Democratic vote. And that's what they decided. You know, that's what was decided to be done. And it's not even Comic Frontline anymore. Anyway, it's Comic Book Weekly, which is the podcast that Brant Cat and Mike Spider Slayer um, do every single week. So <clears throat> I guess it makes sense, especially because uh, nobody wanted to post videos on the channel anymore and everybody only wanted to dedicate to the podcast. So, I mean, it does make sense if you, if you, you know, if you think about it. So I will get those two reviews up on the channel. I did do a couple of Dark Avenger lives on Twitch. I've decided not to post those videos on YouTube. This one, however, will be posted on YouTube. Um, the other ones, it was a lot of, there was stuff I had planned that I wanted to do and then something happened. The good news is a lot of stuff now that's making th made things recording wise and brain wise and focus wise, a little bit of skew are now slowly ending or coming to a point where they're going to be sorted one way or another. And once all that's sorted, it's going to free up a lot of my brain, brain, you know, I'm going to have a lot more brain power freed up to do all the stuff that I've been talking about, like on here, on Dark Avenger uh, Entertainment and Dark Avenger Media. I'm recording. When I say on here, I'm talking about on Twitch. Uh, so once I get my the, all the other stressors figured out, sorted out and done, that frees up all of my time to do other stuff like the media, like the entertainment and like streaming. So as far as entertainment, I do have some really cool teasers for you all. It's my birthday month. I got some presents early because people, you know, they ask. Uh, and um, 
I mentioned things I wanted, and I had a little bit of extra money. Thank you to everybody who is subscribed here on Twitch. That helps. Uh, so I was able to get a couple of extra things with the monies that came in from internet work. Uh, so I'm going to have a three-part unboxing series on entertainment. Um, I've recorded two of them already. The third box is set, but th this third box, instead of doing it uh, mixed with the other two videos, because it comes from a specific person and I wanted, uh, or a specific shop, and I wanted to spotlight that shop. So that's why this uh, box that I'm looking at behind the camera will be the third part. Those will be going up, I would like to say, maybe as a three part series on Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Dark Event Entertainment. I'm hoping to get those up maybe this coming week so this monday tuesday wednesday uh this monday wednesday friday so hopefully we'll have those up so there's your little teaser for dark avenger entertainment and then twitch i've decided i've sat back and really thought about it i figured i was thinking about the comic books i'm thinking about stuff to do on entertainment what about twitch because you know we have game explosions me and uh, a few other people on the uh, chaotic realm which is our discord uh, the Discord link on Twitch is right on the main channel. You can click the link and join the community. We have a really awesome community of really awesome streamers, gamers, VR chat people. You you name it, we have it in our community. We have a really awesome special community of people that I am proud to say is Chaotic Realm. But me and a few of my really close friends on the Chaotic Realm were talking about starting a bit of a gaming channel because some of us are streamers. Some of us are game recorders, so we decided to kind of get together maybe and do a group um, gaming channel, and that's where I want to do a lot of my walkthroughs and playthroughs. So stuff like Dead Island, Dead Space, wow, two deads, um, Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Assassin's Creed, I'm just throwing games out, I'm not going to be doing all of them, Metro, Doom, you know, anything that's a story, a beginning and end, that is an open world but at the same time has a conclusion to it, uh, those are things I'd like to record and put on the YouTube channel. So what do we do with Twitch then? Because I don't want to do walkthroughs on both Twitch and then go back and do a second walkthrough on YouTube. Twitch, I've decided to make more of games that I can stream that are constantly changing. So games like Final Fantasy XIV. We've got, I know a lot of people aren't really fond of Fortnite, but every once in a while, if I want to do a throwaway weekend stream, I'll do Fortnite. But you got... Final Fantasy XIV, Diablo IV is going to be an ever-evolving world once that comes out. Sea of Thieves. Everyone found me through Sea of Thieves. That's another major game. Um, oh my god. Dead by Daylight, which is another game that when I came back to streaming, a lot of people enjoyed watching me play. That's another game. A lot of my friends have been trying to get me into Genshin Impact. Have not started the game yet, but obviously if I do start it, it's going to be streamed. I just got myself in the, <clears throat> the past couple of months a index and full body. So VR chat is definitely an option at some point. And VR chat is ever evolving, changing. And there's a lot of places to explore that I'd love to explore in VR chat. And then you've got, uh, what do you call it? I said VR chat. I'm trying to remember. I want to remember all the games. that. I well, you got this right here, the podcast. No matter what, even if I have a way to get this podcast live streamed on YouTube again. I do still want to stream it here because I feel like a lot of people on Twitch do enjoy the podcast. Fridays aren't the best day. Uh, Saturdays aren't the best day, obviously. But for the most part, I know that <clears throat> if I do a Friday night, a lot of people get involved. So I do still want to keep it on Twitch to some capacity. And then I think that is all of the me. Oh, almost. The Division. I streamed The Division for a very, very, very long time <clears throat> on Twitch. Way back when The Division 1 first came out. Division 2 then followed soon after. I definitely do want to get back into The Division. Um, so that will definitely be another game that I go back to and we'll be seeing streams of. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the list that I had written for myself that might actually uh, help me remember every single game that I mentioned. Uh, and actually, there is a place. I did make a banner, and it's actually on Twitter. It's on my Twitter right now, and that actually shows all of the games that you'll be seeing here. Now, again, from time to time, will I do a different game? 
Absolutely. I still plan on doing a, you know, a couple of games here, there, and everywhere. And from the list I see above, I actually lame, named everything. VR Chat, Genshin Impact. See, Well, let's go with the games you're going to see most of the time. Sea of Thieves, Final Fantasy, 14, Dead by Daylight, Diablo. Division will follow right behind that. Genshin Impact and Fortnite will be whenever. And uh, the Dark Avenger podcast, once things start rolling again and everything starts moving and shaking again, this will be a weekly show uh, as well. So those are all the things you'll be seeing on Twitch. And then, like I said, from time to time, will a, will a random other game pop up? Absolutely. Because days I feel like just talking, maybe I'll pull out Gran Turismo or I'll pull out The Crew 2 and just get my driver's wheel because I do have a wheel and drive around a world map and just sit and talk with everybody. I might do that as well. But majority of the time it will be one of the games i just mentioned because i did notice that a lot of streamers who are known for specific games are the ones that are the go-to's for a lot of people so i want to have people at least know when they click into this stream okay it's what game is he going to be playing today in other words i know it's going to be okay if chaotic falcon streaming it's either division sea of thieves blah 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 so this way they know, you all know what we're going to be doing. And I am going to work on doing a schedule. I have a few streamer friends that make a schedule up <clears throat> and show which game for which day they're playing. So this way it'll be even easier. Oh, so Wednesday, Chaotic Falcon is going to be doing a Sea of Thieves stream. I love Sea of Thieves. I love watching him play Sea of Thieves. I'm going to tune in Wednesday. Oh, and then he's doing Diablo 4 on Friday. I'll be there for Friday too. Not really a fan of Genshin, so his Monday stream, maybe I'll miss it or I'll pop in, say hi, and then just, you know, pop out or lurk or whatever. At least then people know when they come to the stream. And again, Genshin Impact is pending. It depends if I like it. If I like it, I will definitely be sticking around. If I don't, obviously that will fall off of the list. And I'm not looking to replace it at this time, but I mean, if we get another game that is ever evolving, <coughs> we might add that to the list. But I will say this. Out of all the games I've mentioned, most of the time, when you come to this stream, you're going to more than likely see me doing Final Fantasy XIV is number one on that list, because I notice I'm in that game almost every single night. Sea of Thieves is the second runner-up. I'm in that game a lot. I know a lot of people love when I do Dead by Daylight, so that's another strong game. When Diablo IV comes out, that game I'm going to be going hard in for a time. Uh, I'm looking to kind of push Fortnite out a little bit. I know a lot of people aren't really interested, so it'll still be here, but it's going to be all the way down at the bottom of the list. Genshin will, will be a tester, <clears throat> and we'll see what happens with Genshin. And not to say, like, I know a few people are going to say, what about Call of Duty? What about this and that? Call of Duty, if I'm in the mood, I'm not exactly the best Call of Duty streamer or, or multiplayer, so... When you watch me play Call of Duty, you're not exactly watching the best. I mean, if you would like to see somebody like Nitsu, who I follow, who plays Call of Duty, I mean, she cleans up. And I think she's an awesome Call of Duty streamer. <clears throat> I would watch her way before I'd watch me when it comes to Call of Duty, that's for sure. So we have the division for that, at least, for the pew-pew shooty <clears throat> fun stuff. And there's so much going on with Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm, I really... Have gotten so invested in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, my friend Zira, the man who literally gifted five subs yesterday on yesterday's stream, he talked to me about it. He showed me gameplay before I even thought about subscribing to it. He showed me all the different jobs and 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 moves and places and things that you know you could see. And and then I looked up the story to see how people were talking. You know what people were saying about the the story, and it just it's. Now, when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV <clears throat> 1.0, before A Realm Reborn, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't good. But since A Realm Reborn, Final Fantasy has definitely picked up. And once you get past Realm Reborn, the story just keeps getting better and better. Right now, I am at the very end of Heaven's Ward, going into Stormblood. And then there's, uh, oh god, Shadow Shadowbringers. And then we go into Endwalker. And Endwalker just dropped its patch 6.4 uh content trailer and that looks sick i want to catch up <clears throat> and i want to take everybody along on the journey with me i've met so many awesome people made so many really awesome friends on final fantasy that i 
want to share that with all of you. So Final Fantasy might be a really strong staple on this channel, but you all know that I love Sea of Thieves because I used to stream that a lot on this channel too. So we're definitely going to continue the Sea of Thieves journey as well. And then if I get a couple of friends that want to play, you know, a little bit of Let's Survive Each Other as Hell, then we'll talk about Dead by Daylight. And then when Diablo 4 comes out, like I said, that is definitely something that you're going to be seeing a lot of, at, in the beginning at least, on the channel. <clears throat> but as far as any other games, if you'd like to see anything, you know, recorded, let me know. And those will be going up on the group gaming channel. I have to make the intro video for it. I will make the intro video for it, I promise. Because I already have a few uh, parts of Pokemon um, Sa um, no, uh, Scarlet. I got Scarlet. Me and Brilly are doing a Scarlet playthrough. So that'll be going up. <clears throat> I would love to do my Dead Island playthrough. And there are a few other games as well that I would like to start recording. We lost BBC 13 Gaming, so I'd like to go back and revisit a couple of the games I did playthroughs of. And post those walkthroughs again for the hundredth time. Because, you know, YouTube... <clears throat> I didn't sign the Copa thing. I forgot that we didn't sign the Copa thing for BBC 13 Gaming. And they were like, oh, well, it's gone. You know, you didn't sign it. We didn't know, so we just erased your channel. Good job, YouTube. Thank you so much. Instead of sending a warning, we just got erased. <clears throat> so we'll we'll get some we'll get some game walkthroughs up soon. So a lot of really cool stuff coming for YouTube. A lot of fun streams to come over here on Chaotic Falcon. And we have an awesome community, like I said. We are in there every single day in the voice chats. If you'd like to come in, hang out, chat. We do talk a lot about video games. It is mostly a video game server. But as you all know, I love comic books. So, I mean, if you want to discuss certain comic books and geek out with me, you're more than welcome to come in and nerd it out with comic book chat. Just know that a lot of the community is gaming. So, I mean, if you want to come in and talk games, hang out, play games, we've done <clears throat> DBD, D, uh, Dead by Daylight nights, we've done Sea of Thieves nights, we've done, um, we've done some Let's Watches together, we've watched a couple of movies already on the website. If you have VR chat, we've done some movie nights in VR chat already. We're actually going to be doing one for Dungeons and Dragons again soon for, um, what do you call it, or when it comes out for um, VR chat night. But anyway... We have a really awesome community. If you haven't followed or if, you, if you're interested in looking for a community of welcoming people, come join the Chaotic Realm. If not, I mean, if you don't have Discord, I mean, you're always welcome in the comments. I love seeing new comments. I love seeing new people, making new friends. That's why I do this. I love entertaining and reaching out to as many people as I can. But I think with that, we're going to end this Dark Avenger Live here. Thank you all so much for being here with me. As always, you're welcome to leave comments. Anything you'd like to see in the future, recommendations, uh, whatever. On Discord, uh, I'm sorry, on Twitch, my links are right on the channel below. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the description below are all the links to all my social medias, as well as the Discord if you're interested in joining. So, till next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see all of you in the next one. Later, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And if you're watching this on Monday, as I stream, as I will be premiering this live on Dark Avenger Media, hope you have a great rest of your week. Later, everybody.